Happy Boar's Day. Shall we complete Hymir's poem? Hymir's poem, verses 35 through to 39 of the Carolyn Larrington translation. They had gone a long way when Odin's son looked once behind him. He saw from the boulder heaps, from the east with Hymir, a many-headed army marching along. He lifted from his shoulders the outstanding cauldron. He swung Mjolnir before him, keen to kill, and he struck down all the lava whales. They hadn't gone a long way before Hlorydi's goat collapsed half dead in front of them. The draught beast was lamed through a curse this malevolent Loki had caused. But you have heard this. Anyone wiser about the gods may tell it more clearly what recompense he got from the lava dweller, how he paid for it with both his children. The mighty one came to the gods' assembly, bringing the kettle which Hymir had owned. And the gods will drink in delight ale at Aegir's every winter. Hymir's poem, verses 35 through to 39 of the Jackson Crawford translation. They walked a long time before Thor, son of Odin, turned around to take a look behind him. And he saw, coming from the rocky east, Hymir, with an army of giants coming at him, some with more than one head. Thor threw the cauldron down from his shoulders and stood ready to fight. He threw Mjolnir, his killing hammer, and he killed all those lava giants. They didn't walk long before Thor, son of Odin, saw before him one of his goats, half dead. The goat was walking with a lame leg, and this was caused by lie-telling Loki. But audience, you have heard all this. This story is often told among the stories of the gods. It's told how Thor was paid back by the lava giant Egil. Thor took both his children. Then Thor, mightiest of gods, returned to Asgard with the cauldron of Hymir. And now the gods drink good beer every winter's day in Aegir's hall. <laughs>